can you imagine what uh, went down between ISWAP and the Nigerian army and soldiers? It was really a tough time, but it's just so surprising that a force can actually go into fighting. And at the end of the day, they come back to give us reports that are not accurate. And, you know, when it has to do with Nigerians, they come in and they tell us all sort of things. People have not even made mistake. The next thing they've come in, pick them up, say all manners of things, do all manners of things to them. And I think this should not continue because the Nigerian army is not giving us accurate information for us to believe what they are saying. Now, ISWAP and the Nigerian army have met in a way that um, Nigerians actually thought the outcome would have made sense. But, you know, the, stories, the story keeps coming as the same. Yes, we went into a fight with ISWAP or Boko Haram and at the end of the day, we were able to conquer them, this and that and that and this. Sometimes when it is the news that they know that, you know, the journalists and other uh, broadcasting bodies have picked, they just come back to say, we lost some of our men, some of the uh, uh, of Nigerian armies who were supposed to protect the country were actually killed in a gun duel with Boko Haram. And at the end of the day, we're able to take out most of their people. And it's, you know, it's a cycle. It just keeps going on like that. Why can't we end this banditry and criminal activities going on in the country? Why can't the government stop it? Now they are after uh, uh, agitators and now they are, there's one case or the other that we are fighting. We are not. Now everybody's attention have been diverted into fighting for, you know, either Sunday Igbo or fighting for Unam Dikano. That is not our priority right now. And I wonder why, why this government is putting so much energy in that. It is not necessary. And it is the truth. It is not necessary. What is necessary right now is stopping banditry, stopping any form of criminal activity, stopping Boko Haram. And now ISWAP is now the problem that we have to face in the country. Now, the other day, ISWAP was the one fighting Boko Haram. And now they've joined hands together. That is why recently you have not been hearing more about Boko Haram. They've joined forces and now they are now terrorizing the country in a way that Nigerians never expected. Now in every small community, big communities in the country, in big cities, people are being kidnapped on a daily basis. Not politicians anymore, not people with wealth anymore. They just go about to kidnap anybody because they know at least they have family members and they call ridiculous sums of money for people to be released what kind of a life is this why have we given so much chances to these people and everyone is still keeping quiet just because one or two persons have not been involved does not mean it is not happening it is happening and i believe all of the efforts we are putting into uh let us make sure that this is not that let us be for you know against this government and let them understand that nobody is enjoying what is going on in the country anymore let them put more uh, pressure into ensuring that banditry is stopped in the country. Well, guys, I will show you what ISWAP did to the Nigerian army, what they did more in this video. But please ensure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, like, and also share this video. Yes, guys, without further ado, it says right here that... Um, Dozens of suspected ISOP fighters ambushed a military convoy along Gubio Damask Highway in northern part of Borno State on Saturday. Unspecified numbers of soldiers reportedly sustained injuries in the attack while utility vehicles belonging to the troops were forcefully taken away after a gun battle. The soldiers ran into the ambush at Kareto while traveling to Gubio in Borno State to pick APC members for their World Congress built for Damasak. Kareto is the town, is the hometown of Buka Ghana Kareto, who represent Kukawa and Guzamala Abadam Moba Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives. Kareto has been abandoned for years due to the activities of Boko Haram and ISWAP. The soldiers were, were supposed to accompany the politicians from Abadam to Damasak, venue of the award congress. Although Abadam local government has been a no-go area since 2014, you can imagine, politicians from the local government area 
were mobilized for Congress in Damascus, but the incident did not allow them to attend the Congress as they returned to Gubbio. The military authorities are yet to react to this attack. You see exactly what I was talking about. That is the same, you know, it's a cycle. It just keeps going on and on. They don't want to talk about it or they come back to tell us the same story. At the end of the day, they attacked our men and this is what and that. We should go beyond this. We only keep hearing the president. I commend the efforts of the Nigerian army. I commend what they are doing. And uh, this time around, they have vowed to you know, put an end to banditry and criminal activities. And we are still here wallowing in, you know, the activities of this terrible terrorist. Let this government take up responsibilities. The problem with them is they keep pointing fingers to the wrong people and to the wrong places. And when things continue like this, there will never be a stop. There will never be an end to banditry and criminal activities in the country. Now, the truth is, these guys are gaining upper hand. And our a, a, a president is putting more efforts on extraditing Sunday Buhu. It's putting more efforts on how they are going to, you know, uh, make Kanu, you know, a, a prisoner for life. They are looking for ways to shut people down who are trying to tell them the truth. They are looking for ways to make Nigerians to become foolish even when they know that people are wise because now they turn once you report a particular activity they turn it upside down and want the world to believe their own side of the story it is terrible how things have turned out in a country but i don't expect that it will get to this level where it is because now banditry has finally taken over nigeria is no longer a place where you can enjoy peace you sleep in your house with one eyes open because you never can tell. You can leave your house and not return. Or a family member can leave and not return just because it is either they have been kidnapped or something bad must have happened to them. We are not talking about the activities or we are not talking about the responsibilities the government is not taking. Like giving good hospitals, you know, good roads, good amenities, water and all of that. Those are by the way. Those are still very much, by the way, that Nigerians are suffering from. And yet, banditry has taken over all of this. So you can imagine the kind of excruciating suffering Nigerians are going through this moment. No good roads, no water. That is why the banditry is easy. Because when they get to a spot where they know it's bad, that is where they can carry out their activities. So you can imagine. But in all of this, I hope they will come out to tell Nigerians the truth and each of them will begin to get exposed one after the other. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Don't forget to like and also share this video. And don't forget to drop a comment. Thank you so much for being here. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.